break up, it's a burn and I'll rip your heart in two. Cause I'll leave you lying on your bed. Hey, hey, hey. Well, this is the uh, after fight afterthought for the Lucian Butte and Glenn Johnson fight. And in this, I go over the before, the during, and the after of the fight for both fighters. I start out with the winner, which in this case will be Butte, and then I will then proceed to the loser, which was Johnson. Going into that, before the fight, you had Lucian Butte on this uh, six-fight knockout streak. He's in his absolute prime, but people are still saying he hasn't really been tested. You know, they're wondering whether or not he's actually going to be able to handle Johnson, because this theoretically could be the best fighter he's ever been in the ring with. And how he comes out of this fight will completely and totally determine who he fights next. If he looks really good, well, he's definitely stated his case to fight the uh, Ward Frotch winner. And if he looks bad, you know, that could set him back uh, for quite some time. Maybe the loser of that fight or something. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot, a lot to go over. On the Glenn Johnson side, you know, he's, he's still, is he a still a top fighter? Will he, can he still continue this pace? Uh, has time passed him by? This is, could could be, I, and I say this so many times, could be his last shot at a title, and if he is to lose this and lose it badly, then, you know, he's probably never going to see another shot, but if he looks good in the loss, I'm sure, you know, it's boxing, we'll find some way to try and work his way in. Well, anyway, the fight starts, and pretty much around, you know, one through eight was, you know, you had Butte keeping his distance, using the jab, keeping it, you know, using the combos, getting getting out, uh, not really engaging in there. And Johnson seemed content on just throwing his one and one twos as he always does. But it, what he wasn't really pushing the issue. Got a little heated in the ninth and tenth. You like to see that, and you thought uh, Johnson might try to actually push it further because it was clear by then he definitely needed a knockout to even come close to winning this fight because Butte pretty much won just about every round there yeah, it was it was solid it was straight it, it, it never stopped and uh, he didn't take the risks or chances some people might think that was a boring fight but I enjoyed it he did what it took and he looked convincing in it he looked more convincing in beating Johnson than than Frotch did beating Johnson if you see what I'm saying he he took that blueprint that Frotch did, and he added to it, and did better. You know, and he and he looked better doing it. So obviously, when you start looking at Butte, where is he going to go from here? He's got to fight the Ward Frotch winner to unify, and to you know pretty much lock up the super middleweight division. I mean, there's no one else he really could. I mean, this was a very solid fight for him. It was a statement fight. Granted, he didn't get the knockout, but not too many people knock out Johnson. And, uh, like I said, he handled Johnson better than Frotch did. And it wasn't like a three years later kind of thing. It was pretty recent. And when you look over at Johnson, after all this, he's lost four of his last six fights. Five of his last nine. Six of his, uh, six of his last losses, or his last six losses have all been in title fights. So he's, he's consistently proven that he can't beat the champions. I'm just saying, I, very, very good, very, very solid fighter, but he's the A- minus instead of the A or A+. Plus. And when you look at that, who could he go against? Maybe Othusen, uh, Stighiltz, Stighiltz, uh, Kessler might be a nice one, or maybe even George Groves, because uh, Groves looked uh, very nice there in a... Knocking out old dude. Yeah. Yeah, he did. Second round, man. Knocked him out. Anyway, or is this when he finally retires? But when he says, I can't beat the big boys, you know, I've, I've proven I, you know, I got thoroughly worked by Frotch. I really got worked by Butte. I think I'm done. I think I'm done with this. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think about the fight and everything. Be my friend. Be Aguardo's friend. And I will go from there, all right? Well, hey, this is Big Ragu. I'm out.